Hey, it's Slipper Rock head coach George Mahalik. A 75-0 shutout over Millersville. Uh, moved to 3-0 on the season this year. Just a total dominating performance in all phases of the game tonight. Your uh, your overall thoughts? Well, uh, you know, for the second week in a row, just terrible weather. We had the hour and 15-minute uh, lightning delay. Uh, real proud of the way of the team. We came out and started the game. I thought our defensive line uh, set the tone with a safety. Uh, early on in that very first series. Our offensive line uh, did a nice job opening up the lanes for the running backs. And uh, just overall, you know, when you get four, 16 points from your defense uh, and your offense is scoring, it, it was a real good night. Uh, a lot of storylines to talk about here, but uh, let's start with the defense. Held Millersville to 38 total offensive yards on 62 plays. Uh, just talk about that effort from the defense. Well, I, hey, it was all, all three levels. I thought our defensive line really got off the ball. We got pressure on their quarterback. Uh, when they did run the football, our linebackers were there to, uh, you know, fill the holes. And, and in the secondary, you know, a lot of times they came up and made some good hits on, on the run game. So, uh, again, early on in the game, it was just tough to throw. So, you know, we were able to focus on, on their uh, Millersville's running game and uh, control that. And uh, talk about a couple different phases of the offense here. First, the ground game, 414 rushing yards last week. This week you ran for 366 yards. You ran about 30 plays less this week than you ran in the game last last week. Still ran for 366 yards. Uh, Dominic Dingle, 164 yards and two touchdowns. Julian Durden, 111 yards and three touchdowns. And 88 yards on just nine carries from Isaiah Neely. Talk about the run game tonight. Well, you know, first of all, hey, you got to give credit to the, the guys up front. I mean, our offensive line, uh, and, and we played two full units tonight on the offensive line, so give those guys the credit first. And then uh, I think it just shows that we have some real good depth at running back. Uh, with Shamar not playing tonight, um, you know, Julian Durden, Isaiah Neely, and uh, Dominic Dingle, they really stepped up and they had their opportunity and they came through. And on the other side of that, let's talk about the passing game real quick. Uh, just atrocious weather last week. Couldn't really even throw the ball last week. Uh, same way for the first half this week, really driving, rain and wind. You mentioned the uh, hour and 15 minute delay. But the wind subsided, rain subsided in the third quarter a little bit. You got to really see what Dante Nania can bring to the table. Had a phenomenal quarter there. Talk about uh, the passing game tonight. Yeah, you know, finally, as you said, John, we were able to, to uh, you know, take take some shots there downfield and uh, you know, see exactly what Dante can do. And you know, I thought our receivers ran some great, route, great routes. Uh, Jameer Dutrell made a great catch in the end zone for a touchdown. So, you know, I was happy to see, uh, you know, hey, you always want to win, you want to score points, but at least we were able to get some glimpse of uh, what our passing game can be. And you always talk about playing all three phases of the game all night. Special teams performance was outstanding tonight. Mike Wanowskis, uh, perfect in all the extra point tries on 75 points. Uh, had a field goal in there as well into the wind. And then uh, Andrew Huska is just punting the ball and, and kickoffs, just incredible. Uh, nearly every kickoff for a touchback tonight, even into the wind. Talk about the special yeah. teams performance. Well, hey, it starts with your kickers, as you say. And uh, Wani is doing it. Mike Wanowskis, he's doing a great job. Um, you know, went out with a, um, got hit there on one, but came back and real strong. He's, he's, he's healthy and okay. And Andrew Huska, I mean, you talk about uh, the kickoffs and, and punts. So, and, and then our coverage team. Again, we were able to uh, create a turnover where uh, we recovered, a, a, um, our punt return team was able to return and, and recover a fumble and, uh, you know, make good field position for the offense. And uh, looking ahead now, how important was it tonight? You got a lot of guys into the game, and you got a lot of big contrib con uh, contributions from the, uh, you know, the second team guys, really, especially on defense there in the second half. What's it mean to be able to get those guys in and get some ex experience? Well, hey, that's how you, you, know, uh, you build a program and you keep uh, guys really enthused and, and focused. And you know, they work hard in practice, and you know, a lot of them got close to two full quarters of play tonight. And you know, nice to see our defense. Uh, it was our second and third team defense. They're the ones that came up with, uh, you know, two key turnovers and 14 points. They scored 14 points. So, uh, just happy. It, it was a big team win. I mean, overall, when you when everybody plays and they play a, a major contribution, major role, that's it, it's great for the morale of the team. Well, uh, that's great. Congratulations, coach. Well, thanks, and go rock.